From the lads of Modern for Advantage, we are heading out to Warlord Day. Woo! Let's go! Hello there, guys. I'm here with Jamie from Malarik Digital. Um, we're going to have you on the show in a couple of weeks anyway, right? Are, yeah. uh, but just uh, at the Warlord Day, you're here demoing the Bolt Action app that you've been working on. I am, I am indeed. And, and where, are you, where, where have you got up to with that? Uh, so, we're, we're almost giving out the same message we gave last year, which is it's going to be uh, finished in a couple of months. It's going to be finished uh, in a couple of months, mate. You heard that we said We said that last year as well, yeah. but it turns out uh, Bolt Action's a little bit bigger than we thought it was going to be. There's so. a lot of supplements. There's a lot of supplements, yeah. So yeah. we've... Um, We've we've finished uh, all of the armies of books. Um, that was quite mm -hmm. a big big old task because uh, what, what basically happened was every time we encountered a, a, another a new rule that we hadn't accounted for or something different with the theatre selectors, you got to make that backwards to, compatible. Yeah, we had to go back and we had to you know, go back to the drawing board and, and change things. So we, we finally got all of the armies of books complete. Mm -hmm. We added all the errata in there, and then we started on the campaign books, thinking this will be a double. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Turns out it wasn't. So, no. so we've, we're back to the drawing board on some of those elements as well. But it's still a, a work in progress. But at some point, the rubber's got to hit the road. We've got to get uh, users using the app because mm. it's never going to be finished, right? And perfect is the enemy of good. Yeah. So, so we uh, we thought, um, although it's been available for the last year on the web, we thought it's time to get it on Android and iOS. So it's now available on Android. So we, it's an app. Um, it's not just a browser-based. Correct. Yeah, and, it, and you'll be able to use the same uh, the same account, same data across all three platforms. Right. Um, and, uh, and it'll just sync up for you. Mm -hmm. Within the next couple of hours, it should be available on iOS. Hours. Yeah. So by hours, the time you see this, those hours have passed. We'll hopefully, know yeah. whether this man speaks the truth. It or depends lies. on whether I can I can wrestle the uh, App Store submissions team uh, into submission because they. Right. Oh, this is a Google thing. Uh, an, an Apple thing. Google are fine. Uh, right. It went straight up. No, no, uh, if you're making customer, money, but, they want you to do that. Yeah, but uh, but Apple uh, are, are a bit more strict with their guidelines, so they they inevitably find something wrong. That I think they're just flexing, really. Um, yeah. And so so that should be live. It's in review as we speak. Right. Um, okay. And then and uh, we we want to get users using it for a couple of months. We want to send out a newsletter so that a wider audience knows about it because it, we've yeah. kind of kept it. You know, a little bit under the radar mm. um, because we knew it wasn't really finished, wasn't really ready for prime time. I feel like it is ready for prime time now, um, but it needs people using it to tell me what's wrong, what what needs to be improved. Um, right. And once once we're now, satisfied, now on that, then if I can just yeah, for, yeah, for, yeah, for a lot of people. I mean, you said what's wrong. I mean, this is stable, right? You, yeah, it, yeah. It, it works. Yeah. It doesn't it lose half of your army list. Yeah, hundred percent. When he said, "You're not. We're not in the like it needs hot fixing every day sort of no, situation." No, it's more. It's more like uh, little usability improvements, or um, yeah. or people telling us, you know, uh, this unit's missing. Right? We, so yeah, there's, yeah. Occasionally, there's been like something where we have we've missed a particular unit out, or it's been mm -hmm. labelled incorrectly, that kind of thing. Yeah. Things with data, that's easy for us to fix. Mm. Um, but it's re really the front the end things. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, we, we want people to say things like, like for example, when we originally did the PDF output, someone said can it uh, include uh, the number of order dice that I need? Yeah. Uh, very, very easy for us to fix, but we hadn't considered it, so we yeah. added it in. So it's things like that, things that yeah. people are going to request. Because for tournaments, that's often the thing. They, they yeah. cap or have minimum numbers right. of order dice. And even when you're just playing with your friends, it's good that you have a very similar number yeah. from a gameplay perspective. Exactly. So, um, so yeah, and then once we're satisfied that there's no major defects with it and that it is useful, mm -hmm. um, then we're going to start charging a subscription for it, which will be about one ninety nine a month, and that will be at one flat fee that covers uh, all of the games that we're going to add to it, like the ones that we've got now and the ones in future. So it's, it's, it's planning. It's going to be a warlord app. Yeah, a, yeah, absolutely. So we, we, even we even like right now to Slain and and and, and all of these modern products. So one of my um, goals is to get Judge Dread in there because I love playing Judge Dread, but I hate building lists for basically any game, right? Yes. Um, and so, yeah, th those will definitely make their way into there. But at the moment, we've got Blood, uh, Blood Red Skies, we've got Black Seas, and obviously Bolt Action. Um, Black Seas, the Windy Boat game? The Windy Boat game, yes. The Windy yeah, Boat yeah. game, so, yeah. Um, uh, and, it, and it's even got a wind tracker built into the app as well. So oh, it's, it's really? It's very windy, yeah. And the thing is, with games like that as well, uh, they're slightly different to the, the Bolt Action part of the app because Bolt Action is really just about the list building. List building is quite complex. Mm. With Black Seas, the list building is simpler, but there's more to track when you're playing. And it's going to have those features. Yeah, exactly. You, it, it, rather than having all the cards by the side of the table, because a lot of people don't have the space on the table for all the cards, right? right? 
um, it'll all, you can track them in the app if, if that works for you. If you want, you see, yeah. keep the damage, flooding level, yeah, the, critical the, the level of sale, and your, your, oh. uh, your all, all that sort of stuff can be tracked in the app. And the B, and B, isn't B, really B. fiddly to use? Because um, that you talk about it, UI, it's, user interface yeah, is a big it's, part of it. It's subjective, I think. Uh, some people yeah. do find it fiddly to use, and, and even at times I do, but the goal of it, it it's, it's put it this way, it's never going to replace the ease of being able to see everything at a glance, right? Because mm -hmm. it's all on one screen. But um, it saves a lot of space on the tabletop. Yeah. So I found the same thing when I built the Fallout Wasteland Warfare app. The, mm -hmm. the goal of that was, again, reduce the amount of clutter by the side of the table. And so for some people, they prefer the physical cards, and that's mm -hmm. fine. Um, but if your cat jumps onto the table and knocks everything off, uh, the worst you get is a cracked screen, but at least you don't forget what your level of sale was. Right, you so, still know, yeah. Good yeah. point. Good point. So, there right. you go. Um, so the one feature that I, I, the one thing that I found myself looking for recently, because on the channel we're increasingly trying to bring different lists to the table. Yeah. So and what you, what you there's some things you just need to know in advance. Yeah. Or you have to just search through every single list. Yeah. To find it. So. Will I be able to look at a unit that I want mm -hmm. and find which lists it's in? Uh, yes, that, so that it's so on the road. So you take map. the new two five zero half tracks, the small ones. Right. Yeah. I spent ages looking through books where you to could find a list yeah. where that was a transport option. Yeah, absolutely. So um, one of the things that we're, we're going to add uh, is a like a, a essentially a reference part of the app. So right. For example, being able to look up any unit or any uh, special rule without having to build a list for it uh, to find it first. Mm. Um, so, one of, the, one of the things that we would do is on the unit page, exactly what you described, like here are the theatre selectors that include that. Mm. Um, and that, that just means, you know, like, as you say, if you've got specific things that you want to use, mm. then you now know which ones. And to if select. you look up late war paratroopers, you're going to be able to find those lists yes. which allow you to take a paratrooper mortar. Yeah. Which I think only exists in like Panzer Regiment Six or some um, Fallschirmjäger Regiment Six. Yeah, there are lists that allow you to yeah. to bring those unit rules to the subunits, yeah. but they're not part of the core rules. So I could look yeah. up that rule, yeah. and then find the list that that appears in. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. So, so I definitely so it's will not, find that not really there useful. yet, but it definitely will be. Um, yeah. and and that all fits into our core mantra. Which is, if you had to open up a rule book to reference something, then we failed. So, yeah. so that's one of those examples, right? We, we're not. It, it's different if you need to look up uh, the mechanics of the game, but if you need to look up a special rule or you need to look up a theatre selector that includes a particular unit, if you had to open up a book to do that, then we haven't done our job properly. Right. So, so all that kind of stuff will make its way to the app because the idea is to make it quicker for you to make your lists mm -hmm. and quicker for you to play the game. Yeah. Sweet. Uh, yeah. Jamie, thanks for that. It was, it was really nice to talk to you again. It was better last year. He had his beautiful wife with him. I did. But today, She's not gonna have this yeah. is all we're going to get. <laughs> but, <laughs> thanks, and we'll see you on the show in a couple of weeks. Yes, you will. All right. Thanks very much. If you're still here and you're looking for ways to support the channel, there's obviously a lot of ways down in the description. But a key way is to use our affiliate links to Whaling Games and others. You buy your models from them, it doesn't cost you a penny more, and we earn a little bit of commission. Thank you. Thank you.